Oh, here we are again. Um, okay, there's a, there's this quote polling outfit, um, public policy polling, or PPP. Um, I just think of them as piss because that's really what they are. I think they're neoconservative fucking hacks, and it really pisses me off what I see them do. And of course, Hot Air likes to link to them a lot of times, so it gets their little rocks off. Then, lastly, their website is publicpolicypolling.blogspot.com. I mean, it's a it's a blogger blog. They can't even afford a domain name, apparently. They can't afford to go get, you know, $7.95 HostGator, a hosting account, and a $10 domain name. So I'm, I kind of wonder if they don't just make this shit up. I mean, how do we know? Um, so, long story short, this is, this is what neoconservative pollsters do. They don't take Ron Paul seriously. The problem is there was a poll done, Washington Post poll, which showed that Ron Paul was in third. Um, second to uh, was uh, Mitt Romney was in first, obviously, of course, because the mainstream media is going to push his ass. And then Michelle Bachman, um, who's giving me a headache. And then Ron Paul was in third, and then a bunch of losers. Now, one of the worst was Palenti. I mean, he's got like, what, 1% or 2%? Basically, nobody likes him. I mean, the mainstream media loves him. Um, so I'm just going to get in the, this is what they love right here. Um, in the Obama Romney head to head, like it matters. Why don't they just run on the same fucking ticket? 21% of undecideds approve of Obama and 61% disapprove. If you allocate them based on their approval, disapproval of Obama, Romney would lead 52, 48, big fucking deal. And then they jump to Obama Bachman and then they jump to Obama Palenti and then they jump to Obama Kane and then Obama Palin. Hmm, why would Palenti be in there but not Ron Paul? Now, I know why. They're, neo you know, they're, they're neocons. They want the warfare state. Um, maybe they're moderates. Yeah, it's one of the two. Either they're neoconservative or they're moderate. They want a big government to some degree. Um, you know, they don't approve of Ron Paul and all that bullshit. But, you know, it's just, it's just kind of pathetic because it's like at what point does it not reveal itself for what it is? You know, to me, it's just political hackery masquerading as a poll. That's all it is. And I think some of it is, it's a little bit like, you know, in high school when you try to be the popular crowd, including Ron Paul and your poll in their eyes is like a way to somehow ruin its meaning or like it does, it's not going to have any value. Um, and he said here, this person here was questioning him and said, um, I guess this is one of the commenters said, you said, Palenti now does barely, but we, we started including Palenti because he was briefly polling in the double digits. Paul hasn't ever done that nationally, and Kane still does. Well, what is Paul at, 9%? <laughs> I mean, I snorkel, but that's ridiculous. It's so stupid. They're just making it. What it is is they're trying to find a reason to uh, keep him out of it. Um, but also the Washington Post ABC poll shows that, that Ron Paul's garnering 10 to 11% nationally if Sarah Palin isn't included in the poll, which she shouldn't be because she isn't running. And then the guy's like, actually, the Washington Post ABC poll that's just been released shows Ron Paul garnering 10... Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. He quoted this. And he says, we go by our own polls. But they don't poll Ron, they don't poll Ron Paul. Does that make any sense at all? So anyways, apparently one of the Daily Paulers called these people. Yes, their numbers on their website. It's where is it? Right here. That's their number. And I think from what I remember he said, "Oh, you're one of the Ron Paul people and hung up." I think that, that you know, that that's the neocon stuff. I know that um when they act like such an asshole it's because they hate us. It's personal, you know, which is fine. Uh we'll have to just take them down, I guess. See what we can do. Let's go after them. Um, because we need to, you know, we need to kind of go after these people and reveal them for what they are. Hacks. You know, they're not honest. You know, they're losers fighting for, to continue their neocon ways. And they want, they want Mitt Romney. They love Mitt Romney. He's so perfect. His hair is perfect. You know, and I think they love the contradiction of wanting to get rid of Obamacare and then voting for Romney. I think they love that shit. Ugh, moderates.